Consumers are increasingly aware of their sugar consumption and at the same time they are on the lookout for products that are natural and healthy. It's a well-known fact that excess sugar consumption is linked to various diseases, cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes and tooth decay. And for these reasons, some governments have begun to restrict publicity into the advertising of sugary foods and also to limit the amount of sugar which is allowed when producing confectionery. The less than 70% sugar line has been able to reduce the amount of sugar by 70% compared to the regular recipe without sacrificing taste or consistency thanks to the addition of a particular ingredient, chicory root. Chicory root contains a particular kind of fiber called inulin also known as FOS or fructo oligosaccharides, which although it's um, technically a sugar, so it has a sweet taste, it behaves completely differently from sugar. And it doesn't raise our blood sugar levels because it has a very low glycemic index. Inulin is also a prebiotic. That's a kind of fiber which nourishes the healthy bacteria that live in our gut. So it's good for our digestion and it has many other health benefits. Sweeteners such as maltitol, sorbitol, erythritol, and other sugar alcohols are often used in the production of low carbohydrate or low sugar foods because they're similar in taste and in texture to sugar, but they have fewer calories. However, although these kinds of sweeteners are, um, can be labeled as sugar-free or with reduced sugars, they can significantly raise our blood sugar levels because they have a glycemic index on a par with that of sugar. Also, in some people, the consumption of these sugar alcohols can cause digestive problems such as gas and bloating. Stevia is considered a natural sweetener. It has a low glycemic index. However, it's normally used together with um, anti-caking ingredients like maltodextrin. And maltodextrin comes from potatoes and corn, and it has a glycemic index even higher than that of sugar. Also, stevia has a rather bitter aftertaste, and it lacks the known health benefits compared to the prebiotic in the chicory root fiber from the less than 70% line. On the other hand, the sugars from the less than 70% sugar line have a very minimal or zero impact on our blood sugar levels because most of them come from chicory root, which has a very low glycemic level. And it has the added advantage, inulin, of having health benefits for weight management, for digestion, and even immune function. Inulin is a kind of plant fiber it's the main kind of plant fiber in chicory root from the less than 70% sugar line. Inulin has numerous health benefits, including helping with weight management, reducing cholesterol, and helping to control diabetes. Inulin is also a prebiotic. It nourishes the healthy bacteria that live in our gut. It is not broken down in the top part of our intestine, but it travels down to the lower intestine where it nourishes and promotes the growth of the healthy bacteria that live there. And these friendly, useful bacteria convert inulin and other prebiotics into short chain fatty acids. The most well known is butyrate. And these short chain fatty acids nourish the cells of our colon. And that helps not only digestive health, but also helps protect the colon from disease. A healthy gut microflora with optimum levels of beneficial bacteria is fundamental for healthy digestion and in turn for good overall health. And the best way to increase the numbers of these healthy bacteria is to feed and nourish them with prebiotics like inulin from the chicory root of the less than 70% sugar line. Several scientific studies demonstrate that the addition of inulin into our diet helps with digestion and to improve overall intestinal health. I would highly recommend the less than 70% sugar line to any of my patients with diabetes 
because of its favorable effect on blood sugar levels, on hepatic fat accumulation, and because of its high fiber content, which not only helps with blood sugar, but also gives a sense of satiety, which helps to reduce sugar cravings. I'd also recommend the line to anybody wishing to improve their intestinal health. Digestive issues are widespread and there are many reasons, but almost all can be improved through improving the health of the gut microflora. And that can be improved through eating more fiber and more prebiotics, like those in chicory root from the less than 70% sugar line. Finally, I would recommend the line to anybody simply wishing to reduce their cholesterol levels, improve their cardiovascular health, and strengthen the immune system. If eating a little delicious chocolate every day can help, then why not? The important thing is to choose sweet treats that taste sweet, but do not raise our blood sugar levels or perpetuate more cravings for more sweet, sweet foods. Uh, the less than 70% sugar line does not raise our blood sugar levels and contains a good amount of fiber, which creates a feeling of satiety which helps eliminate cravings for sweets. So ending the meal with a little chocolate from the less than 70% sugar line can be a good way to help minimize future temptations. Foods that contain inulin can sometimes cause minor digestive upset like gas and bloating, but these, um, these symptoms normally go away as soon as the body starts to get used to it, so within the first few days. However, it's always a good idea to start with moderation when eating foods with prebiotics. So in the case of the less than 70% sugar line, that could mean about 10 grams of chocolate a day and gradually build up. The inulin from uh, chicory root passes through our body largely undigested until it reaches the lower gut where it converts into food for the healthy bacteria that live there. And this promotes healthy digestion in general and scientific research suggests that it also improves constipation.